In this video, we're going to learn how to find the largest element in an array using C. The first thing we'll do is declare an array. We'll have int array is equal to 4, 1, 8, 6, 0, 9, 5, 2, 3, and 7. And in this array, the largest element is 9. And this array has a length of 10. So we'll declare a variable length and set it equal to 10. And our recursive function will look like this. We'll have int for the return type because the function is going to return the largest element in the array. We'll call the function max and the function will accept the array as an argument. So we'll have here int array as well as the number of elements left to examine in the array. We'll call this parameter n. We can then create a definition of this function down here. So what we'll do is examine each element in the array. Going from the end of the array to the first element in the array, and we'll check to see if that element is larger than the largest element found in the remaining portion of the array to be examined. If it is, we'll return that value as the largest element. If it's not, we'll return the largest element found in the remaining portion of the array as the largest element. So the implementation of that algorithm is going to look like this. We'll declare an int variable, possible max, and we'll set possible max to the largest value found in the remaining portion of the array. We'll find that by calling max recursively. We'll have here max array with n minus one. So calling max with the array and n minus one is going to find the largest value in the remaining portion of the array. We can then compare this value to the element that we're currently examining. And we can then return the larger of those two values as the largest element in the array. So we'll have here, if possible max is greater than the element we're currently examining, where the element we're currently examining is in the array at the index n minus one, then we're going to return possible max. Otherwise, the element that we're currently examining is equal to or larger than the possible max, and so we'll return that value. We'll have else return the array at the index n minus one. Now there is one important thing missing. We would call this function call to max the recursive step in our algorithm, and a recursive algorithm has a recursive step where the function will call itself, but a recursive algorithm will also have a base step where the function stops calling itself. So our base step is going to be once we reach the first element in the array, when n is one, when there's one remaining element to examine. So in the case that n is equal to one, we're going to stop recursion. What we're going to do is just return the element in the array at the index n minus one, or we could just have zero here. But the idea here is that once we reach the first element in the array, it is by default the largest element in that portion of the array. So putting this all together, the way this algorithm is going to work is that each element in the array is going to be examined one at a time, going from the end of the array to the start of the array. Now eventually, we will reach the start of the array. At that point, that value is going to be returned as the largest element in the array. But that value is going to be returned to a prior call to max when we were examining this element in the array. At that point, that value, the first value in the array, is going to be compared to the second value in the array. And the larger of the two values is going to be returned from the function. That pattern is going to continue because next we'll be comparing the larger of these two values to this value. And the largest of those values will be returned and the function will proceed like this until the largest element in the array is returned. We can now test it out. So here, we'll call max. We'll have printf max colon percent d backslash n to output the max value, and we'll call max with our array and the length of the array. So if we save, compile, and run the program, we do get a max value of nine. And that is correct because nine is the largest value in our array. 
So this is how we can find the largest value in an array using recursion in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.